Okay, this video is going to reveal the scary and shocking truth that will um, alarm a lot of Linux users who think that Linux is the most secure operating system in the world. Now, firstly, I'm running this on virtual machines in a controlled environment. I'm not really hacking anyone. Uh, that said, of course, this is using the same techniques as a hacker would use. Um, I've got this machine here, which is my Linux machine. It's a fairly basic installation of Linux. Um, and I've also got another machine, which is a hacking workstation. Now, I'm not going to show you the hacking workstation. This isn't um, a tutorial on how to hack. This is a um, a warning, if you will, on how easy it can be to break into a vulnerable Linux machine. Okay, so I'm going to go quiet for a few minutes while I establish a connection and um, uh, actually get set up so I can talk to the Linux machine. Okay, um, just getting connected now. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you how to connect to the machines. This isn't a tutorial on hacking. Um, it's a tutorial on... Um, or it's not really a tutorial at all. It's... Um, this, pro this video is really designed to warn people who think that Linux is secure. Too many Linux users believe that, oh, we're on Linux, no one will ever hack us. Sorry, not true. Okay, so, if you just keep watching... So, uh, bearing in mind, this is the documents file. This is where you would store all your open office files, anything you save. So basically, this is where all your personal data goes. So what we're going to do, firstly and foremost, I'm going to add a file to this area. So we're going to add a simple file to the area. So there you go. The file yourhacked.lo seems to just appear from nowhere, which of course it did, because of uh, of course the user of this system um, didn't have yourhacked.lo on their computer. Now this is just an empty file I've put on there to demonstrate for the purpose of this video, but um, think of this. That could be a Perl script. It could be some sort of program. This could be creating a backdoor so that I can always get back in, even if you fix the security hole I came through today. Uh, so now, the other quite scary thing is that uh, I can do the reverse. If I can create a file, I can also kill a file. Keep watching your hacked.hello. As you can see, it's gone. Now these are fairly simple demonstrations, but nonetheless um, a scary eye-opener for people who think, oh I'm, on, I'm a Linux user, I'm never going to get hacked. The truth is you can be hacked just as much as a Windows user, Truth, but not too many people bother. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to show you in this video. Um, 
I'm going to bid you farewell and I'll see you next time.